So here we are, Tuesday, February 9th, after the market closed. And I think we've witnessed a real important shift in the character of the market. I think that the junk phase of the rally, which carried the S&P 500 up 73%, from March 6, 2009 through January 19, 2010 is over. Um, from the, uh, during the 13 trading days from Wednesday, January 10, 20th through Friday, February 4th, the, S the market saw six days of heavy selling, which took the S&P 500 down about 100 points from about 11.50 to a little bit below 10.50, almost 9%. Over that same period, a lot of the riskier stocks that led the rally, stuff like Citigroup, Emerging Markets, Goldman Sachs, Google, saw sell-offs on the order of 15% or in some cases even more. Now, the, I think this probably marks the end of the easy money, all those, those trading strategies, uh, buying, buying this risky stuff and just seeing it go up day after day, that's probably over. So that, that's, that's important, you know, the market it, it, it goes through phases and it goes through, it goes through certain moods and I think I think we have we have a shift right now and we're shifting into something else. Um, that said, Friday's reversal, intraday reversal on heavy volume, and today's strong rally suggests that this correction might have run its course. Now, I want you to consider with me this um, historical economic situation. We saw the Federal Reserve. Take down the federal funds rates, federal fund rates, all the way from all the way down to one percent over a two-year period. We saw the federal government implement massive fiscal policy stimulus. We saw a huge forty-six percent rally from March until January, and it's 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 all been quite dramatic. And no, I'm actually not talking about 2009, 2010. I'm talking about 2003, 2004. And that's right. This is almost an exact replay of what happened during the end of the last cycle, seven years, six years ago. Uh, Greenspan started taking down the Fed funds rate at the beginning of 2001, ultimately taking all the way down to 1% in mid-2003. And President Bush passed uh, some massive tax cuts, some fiscal, fiscal policy to stimulate the economy in 2001, and then an add-on package in 2003. All this had the effect of stabilizing the economy uh, and simulating financial markets, which led to that a huge rally from middle mid March 2003 to January 26, 2004, in which the S&P went from about from 789 all the way up to 1150, which is a 46% move. Substitute Ben Bernanke and President Obama, who did a stimulus you know a stimulus package instead of a tax cut package. And the 73% rally, which took the S&P from 666 to 1150, from March 6, 2009 to January 19, 2010, and it's it's the historical parallels are pretty striking. Now, what's interesting is that the rest of 2004 was pretty much of a dud. Uh, from 1150 on January 26, 2004, till the end of 2004, the S&P only increased another 57 points. To 1212 or about 5 percent. In 2005, it was only up another 36 points uh, or 3 percent. So, two, 2004 and 2005 were pretty boring, steady, stagnant, range-bound years. And if the historical analogy proves true, that could be what we're looking at for the rest of 2010.